Sharpening Universal Curettes. Universal curettes, such as Langer, Columbia, and Barnhart curettes, have two parallel cutting edges, which are formed by the junction of the facial surface with the two lateral surfaces. The two cutting edges meet at the end of the instrument to form a rounded toe. The undersurface of this blade is rounded and the cross-section view reveals a semicircle blade shape. The facial surface of the blade of a universal curette is positioned at a 90 degree angle to the terminal shank. This is a key factor to remember when positioning the blade and stone during sharpening. When sharpening a universal curette, the cutting edges will be restored by grinding the stone against the lateral surfaces of the blade. Before beginning the sharpening process, assemble the required materials. A sturdy flat work surface with proper lighting is essential. The use of loops or magnifying lens is essential to clearly see the edges of the instrument blade. Also needed will be a flat sharpening stone, a cylindrical stone, oil or water for lubrication, depending on the type of stone, cotton-tipped applicator, gauze, a plastic test stick. To begin the sharpening process, hold the universal curette vertically in your non-dominant hand. The blade to be sharpened will be at the bottom with the toe pointed toward you. Brace the top shank with your thumb and place your elbow directly in front of you on the table. This positioning is very important as it will counterbalance the pressure that will be applied when sharpening the lower blade. Using the clock as a guide, hold the instrument vertically with the lower terminal shank positioned at 12 o'clock. Place the lubricated side of the stone against the right lateral surface of the blade. Initially place the stone at 12 o'clock. Right-handed clinicians should tilt the top of the stone slightly away from the handle to approximately three minutes past 12 o'clock. Left-handed clinicians will tilt the top of the stone to approximately three minutes before 12 o'clock. Initiate sharpening in a fluid up and down motion starting at the heel third of the blade and slowly progress by moving the stone to the middle third and then finally the toe third. Maintain a continuous up and down motion using long strokes and moderate pressure. Finish on a downward stroke. To sharpen the opposite cutting edge, rotate the instrument so that the toe is pointed away from you. Maintain the secure palm grasp and brace the top shank with your thumb with your elbow on the table in front of you. Position the lower terminal shank at 12 o'clock. Place the lubricated stone upright at 12 o'clock. Right-handed clinicians should tilt the top of the stone slightly to three minutes past 12 o'clock. Left-handed clinicians should tilt the stone slightly towards three minutes before 12 o'clock. Repeat the sharpening process starting at the heel third and progressing to the middle third and finally to the tip third of the blade. To maintain the rounded shape of the curette toe, Rotate the instrument handle so that the toe is pointed at 3 o'clock. Position the stone underneath the blade at 3 o'clock and tilt upward toward the 2 o'clock position. Move the stone in a consistent up and down motion, overlapping strokes and rotating around the toe to maintain the rounded shape. To finish sharpening a universal curette, hold the blade at eye level with the terminal shank at 12 o'clock with the toe pointed towards you. Position the cylindrical stone along the face of the instrument at 3 and 9 o'clock. With slight downward pressure, roll the stone along the face from the heel to toe, removing any wire edges. To test the cutting edge, hold a plastic test stick in your non-dominant hand between your thumb and index finger near the bottom of the stick. Hold the test stick upright at 12 o'clock. Hold the instrument in your dominant hand with a modified pen grasp. Place your fulcrum on the right side of the test stick near the middle of the stick. Bring the instrument around the back of the test stick with the toe pointed toward you. Place the cutting edge to be tested against the left side of the test stick, opposite your fulcrum. Tilt the terminal shank very slightly toward the test stick using the same angle you would use for scaling. Place the cutting edge laterally into the test stick and release. Test the entire length of the blade at the heel, middle, and toe. A sharp instrument edge will bite or grab the plastic test stick. You will also hear a metallic click or ping upon quick release. If the cutting edge slides over the side of the test stick, it may indicate that the blade is still dull.